you guys doing welcome back to another video with your girl carol and today guys we are going to talk about choosing ourselves first yes this is for my people that are pouring from an empty cup this is my people that are helping everybody believe their self in the back burner on the back burner this is the people that give their all but don't give it their all to themselves this is even my people who may not love themselves who may uh look for love in other people and just leave their self just hanging just yeah all of that all of that i'm talking to you i'm talking to me i'm talking to whoever needs to hear this but guys before we get into the topic you already know if you feel like you can benefit from some encouraging videos by all means go ahead hit that subscribe button click like share and comment okay guys this is for the ones that just Oh, we forget about us. We forget about us. We forget to love ourselves. We forget to self-care. We forget to do whatever it is that boosts us up, make us happy. We forget. Life be lifing out here. Do you hear me? Life be life, and especially um, the life of a mom and a wife and, and just a mom. You don't even have to be a wife. Just a mom, period, baby. You give your all. And you have nothing else to give to yourself at the end of the day. I've been there, done that. Yes. So today I woke up, this morning I woke up and I was like, you know what? Today and forevermore, I am choosing me. I am choosing me. I worry about my children. I worry about anybody that's connected to me. I um, do these videos to help encourage others. I just do whatever. I go over and beyond for people and I don't go over and beyond for myself. Like I when I got married, um I began to just focus on my husband and focus on my children that I forgot about me. And you know what? When you you have to be the best version of yourself for you first and then for your children and for your husband, well for your husband and for your children. Um, you can't be the best version or do what you need to do if you're pouring from an empty cup. You have nothing else to give. You 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 finding yourself in depression, you're finding yourself um anxiety having anxiety, you're worrying, you're not trusting God the way you're supposed to. You just down and out. You don't want to be bothered. You want to be to yourself. You want a little me time, which is good. Me time is always good. Take me time every day because that's how you recharge yourself. That's how you get yourself together. That's how you get so you can be able to conquer the world. But we forget about us. We don't do me time. We don't do me time. We just, we do everybody time, you know? And by the end of the day, you drain. You drain. You you got attitudes. You don't want to be bothered. You know, you just, it's just creating this monster. You're creating this monster because you don't take the time out to choose you first. How can you be the best that you need to be as a mother, as a wife, as a girlfriend, as a boyfriend, as a husband, um, a boss on your job, uh, in school, if you're going to school, how can you be a best, how can you give the best parts of you if you are not recharged, if you are just down, depressed, facing just all types of worrying and, and, and just not being yourself, you know, like, how can you be the best version of you if you don't take care of you? You got to take care of you. You got to find the time. You know, we, we make up that excuse. You know, it's not enough. I don't have enough time to think about me. I don't have enough time to go get my nails done, go get a haircut. I don't have enough time. You know, I, 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 I don't have the money to shop for myself. I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the money to, to do that. But let me tell you something. When you want to do something, you're going to find a way. And we know we know somebody that that makes a way out of no way so that's nothing but an excuse that is nothing but an excuse sometimes we feel sorry for ourselves so we're gonna make up the excuses to to you know layer that on that the 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 self uh guilt and the the feeling sorry for ourselves and wanting you to feel sorry for us and nah mm -mm. no more no more no more let's choose us 
let's choose us if you need to exercise if you need to have a girl's night a girl's day if you need to just self, just go self-love on yourself whatever that looks like go do it if it's just getting in the um getting on the in the good old corner of your sectional with a nice little blanket and reading a book with nobody around you know do that do that because people are not going to like i don't know people are not going to give you what you're looking for you gotta you gotta pull it out of yourself you got to pull it out of yourself so you nobody nobody can read your mind nobody is a mind reader nobody is a mind reader so you're screaming for help and everybody looking at you like, dang, what's wrong with you? Why you so snappy? Why you so because you you calling out for help? Don't nobody know. You gotta you gotta open your mouth and you got hey, I need I need a day to myself. I need 30 minutes. I need, you know what I'm saying? So for me, I love taking a bath and I be in there for an hour or two. Because that's that's my me time just to get my mind together. Because I deal with people all day long. And when I get home, I don't feel like peopling. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, baby. I love to get on that couch, get my blanket. Give me a minute. And guess what? My husband gives it to me. My husband gives me that minute. My kids give me that minute. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. And I be like, look, y'all gonna have to hold on. But yeah, so I want to do more of um, like I love getting my nails done. Um, I'm way overdue for that. I'm way overdue for that. That is something that I've always loved. When I was a little girl, I used to go buy uh, press-on nails. Then um, I finally started getting my nails done when I was 17. And ever since then, I've always gotten my nails done. And that's just that's just something that I love. Yeah, I'm overdue. Um, I'm going to make an appointment, don't y'all? Everybody calm down. Y'all get out of my business. I'm going to go get my nails done. Don't worry about it. Mm -mm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But now I've added getting my, um, I love going to get a retie. She washes my hair and it's just another focusing on me. You know, um, I wanted to get my brows done. I did that. I'm going to start getting my last. I'm just going to start focusing on me because I, I fell off. And when I say I fell off, I ain't stop talking about like I'm out here with no teeth in my mouth. And you know what I'm saying? I'm out here looking crazy. But I'm saying I fell off with loving me. Even though I dealt with some broken times, even though I dealt with depression, even though, well, during depression, I really didn't focus on me. It was just more focusing on the past and everything that was going wrong that had me stuck. But there was a time with baby, I worked at Walmart when I was a little younger and my kids were shoot i think i hadn't even had tyra i can't know who tyra is but that's my oldest daughter she's 24 23 she's 23 she'll be 24 in january but anyway baby i was working at walmart and honey i would wear heels to work i would wear heels to work but i would take me some shoes so when i'm checking people out i would be in them shoes but baby when you see me walking around going to lunch or somewhere baby i had on heels you know, but but see, I lost myself because people talked about me. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that said, "But you a you a uh, motor yard in heels." Like, like I had a set, of, I had set a standard so high that people couldn't reach it, and so they dogged me out. They talked about me because I was, I was that person. I was that person. I shop for myself, baby. I, I love the matching bag and purse. My purse had to have a matching one. Like, that was me. And it still is me. But I began to dummy down who I was. Come on with the message. Here we go. I began to dummy, dummy down who I was to fit in a box or to make somebody else feel better. To dim my light so your light can shine bright. That's what I did. That's what I did. And... As I began to do that, I began to lose myself. Come on, message. As I began to dim my light so I can fit in this box and so I won't outshine you or you or you over here, I began to feel some type of way. I began to get depressed all over again. I began to feel less than. I began to uh, 
fade in the background. I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to be heard. It's just I would I would get quiet. I didn't like being around crowds because I felt like everybody else was better than me. Everybody else looked better than me. I, I began to not speak loud anymore. It was just I was quiet because I didn't want nobody to see me. Oh, I felt like a failure. Oh. Um, now I'm 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 not going out and doing what it is I need to do. Now I'm just I'm just passing by. I'm just doing the bare minimum. I'm just beginning to feel like life is just too much. It's too much and I can't do it. I can't do it. All because people began to tell me being me was wrong. Because people was telling me being it oh you're too extra you're extra you this you're that and i began to dim my light because i didn't want nobody to talk about me you know what i'm saying let's talk about it let's talk about it why are you dimming your light why are you not self-caring and loving on yourself why are you not doing the things that you need to do to be the best version of yourself whatever it is just know that it ain't from god god didn't is not trying to rob you of who you are God is not trying to rob you of your happiness and God is not trying to instill depression on you, fear on you, anxiety on you. That is not of God. None of that is of God. What is he trying to do for you? What is he trying to do for you? Listen, sis, bro, get back into that vision. Get back into doing what you need to do to make you happy. Yes, 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 yes. Choose you today tomorrow and and on and on forth them kids need you to be the best version of yourself that husband that wife needs you to be the best version of yourself don't stop stop doing the bare minimum stop worrying about money stop worrying about how i'm gonna do this and do that now i'm speaking to myself stop worrying stop worrying because you're not trusting in god when you're worrying now you say you give it to him but then five minutes later you're worrying about how how you gonna get it no, no, ma'am. No, sir. That's not what we, that's not what we about to do. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Stop. Stop allowing yourself and anybody else to dim your light. Choose you today. Choose yourself. Yes. If you need to lose weight, do it. If you need to go back to school, do it. Whatever it is that you need to do to make you happy. Baby, if it's just sitting on the porch with a cup of coffee and just listening to the trees and the and, and the birds and the bees, if that makes you happy, do it. Do it every day. Take time out for you and do it every day. Stop giving everybody everything you got and you can't give yourself nothing. Stop it. Stop it. Choose you. Point blank and period. Guys, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. See, that's another, that's another word. Ooh, don't let people dim your light. I got a video, ooh, I don't know, probably about a year or so ago. But don't let people dim your light. Because when you allow people to dim your light, then you begin to rob yourself of happiness. You begin to rob yourself of that joy. And God, God gave you that joy and that happiness, and you're allowing people to take it away. They didn't even give it to you, but you're allowing people to take it away. And sometimes you allow your own self to take it away because you're thinking too much. You, you, you're down too much. You, you, you're depressed too much. You know what I'm saying? And I know depression, sometimes sometimes people get depression mixed up with being sad. Depression is something totally, totally, it's, it's similar. It's similar. But that depression, sometimes it's hard to come up out of it. But when you do, do everything you can to not fall backwards. Do everything you can to fall backwards. Because I'm going to tell you, the enemy, the enemy from a person that's been depressed uh off and on for years the enemy still tries to come and attack my mind and i tell the enemy you got to flee no no sir no sir no ma'am whatever you are no 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 i can't do it i give it all to god i gotta give it all to god that's who i serve and i'm not gonna allow you to tear me raggedy cat raggedy no more period period guys but again guys choose yourself first choose yourself first i'm just speeding anyway because i mean what i say and i say what i mean but anyway choose choose you 
choose you, love on you, do whatever it is that makes you happy. Stop asking people, should you do this and do that? It ain't. It don't matter what they say and how they feel because it's your happiness. Stop asking people what you need to do and how you need to do it. Only The only thing you need to be doing is praying to God and asking God to show you the way. It's okay to consult in people, but you got to consult in the right people because you consult in the wrong person. They're going to take you down the road and the path that you shouldn't even be on. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need to ask anybody anything because God is already showing you. God is already showing you where you need to go, what you need to do, how you need to do it, how you need to love on yourself. He's already showing you. So we're asking people to confirm what we're feeling and then... What if they're not confirming how you feel and they take you down another path? Stop asking people about your happiness and what you're supposed to do. Do what you got to do for you. Be happy. Be happy. We only, we ain't, we ain't, we're not promised tomorrow and we're wasting our time on all the negative things and all the bad things and how this ain't going this way. Look, God invented you, God made you. God gives you visions. God allows you to do the things that you need to do in life as long as it's going for him and longer you as long as you are in a good space. Something that's that's still in your happiness and your joy, something that that you're 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 not representing him in and you know that ain't of him. You know that ain't of him. But he created so many jobs out here. He created uh so many gifts in us that we shouldn't be sitting here suffering. We shouldn't be sitting here um, unhappy. But, you know, hey, this is life. This is what we do. And God put this in me to encourage somebody to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. This look curly cute. But anyway, wake up and do what it is that you need to do to be happy. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all, again, choose yourself. I'm going to choose me. I'm going to choose me because, listen... I can't run my household if I don't choose me. We know God come first. We know God come first. But how are we going to choose God but we down ourselves and we treating ourselves like, like we're nothing? That ain't of God. That is not of God. So choose you first. I'm going to choose me because like I said, I can't run my household depressed, down, angry, sad. Man, I can't do it because the energy that you're bringing, they're going to they're gonna sense that and guess what? You're going to have chaos in your home. You're going to have chaos of your, in your home. We are the heart. We are the heart of the home. We got to make sure that we are good so the home can be good. So that when you step in, you can feel the peace. You can feel the love, not chaos. Not We don't need chaos in our life, period. No. But so again, do whatever it is that makes you happy. Self-care, self-love. You got to do it. You got to do it. If you like shopping, stop feeling guilty for choosing yourself. Stop feeling guilty for buying yourself something, going to get your nails done, going to get a haircut, going to get a face. Stop. Stop it. Stop feeling sorry. I'm not sorry. Stop feeling Stop feeling sorry for yourself too, but no. Stop feeling guilty for choosing you and loving you and doing what makes you feel good. You're going to ruffle some feathers. You're going to shake some demons and some people and they're going to say what they got to say. But you step tall and high, you step tall, put your hold your head up and, and let them know. It's all I give all glory to God, but you're not going to tear me down. You're not going to make me feel no type of way because I love me and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that I'm good. And they're not doing what they need to do to make sure they're good. Stop it. Stop robbing yourself of your happiness. Stop robbing yourself of joy. And stop robbing yourself of peace. And peace, just because you have peace doesn't mean there's not things, things are not going to happen. That just means that you have come to an agreement that, okay, this is this has happened. There's nothing really I can do about it. I'm going to accept it. And I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to trust in God and I'm going to keep it moving. But your peace, you have to protect it at all costs. Don't let nobody take that from you. Stop ro- let, allowing yourself to be robbed of, of the things that God has given you. Point blank and period. Yes, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to you, him, her, she, whoever needs to hear it. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Stop robbing yourself of your happiness. Stop robbing yourself of the things that God has given Okay, so the word, the, the, the phrase for today is I choose me always because if I don't choose me, there's going to be chaos 
everywhere I go because I'm going to be angry, upset, mad, depressed, down, out, all that. And that is nothing of God. That, that has nothing to do with me over there. I need my peace and my happiness and I need to be at one with God. I got to connect with God. I got to trust in him and I got to believe in him and I got to know that he has my back regardless. He has my back, period. So that's the phrase of the day. I choose me today tomorrow and every other day period but guys i love you i'm gonna let you go i love you remember faith over fear love yourself love who you are love what god has created deal with the cards that god has dealt deal with it do what it is that you need to do make sure we, we're not promised tomorrow so live your life like there's no tomorrow there's just make sure you are glor you are glorifying God and everything that you do. Let's not be out here just doing whatever. Let's not be out here just selling our soul to the devil, to the enemy, because it look good. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. But anyway, guys, I love you and just have the most amazing, awesome, wonderful, wonderful day. And until next time, mwah. Love,